this is Gilbert Gottfried, and this is Gilbert and Frank's Amazing Colossal Obsessions. I'm here with my co-host, Frank Santopadre. That's me. And, you know, I realized a few shows back... Yeah. You recommended, uh, you know, George Burns, Lee Strasberg, oh, and Art Carney. Going in style. And and I I shamefully mm-hmm. did not hum the music. I remember. <laughs> How did you the miss music. that opportunity? Yes, I I I, I it, it's it's been. By the way, that was about twelve shows ago. Yes, yes, <laughs> but it's been killing me. I said I got to do this on the next show. Mm. <clears throat> That's it. <laughs> now Knowing your memory, you saw it yes. once in 1979, uh, yes. and you somehow managed to retain that. I'm glad you brought up music, because I have a treat for our listeners. Okay. We're gonna, at the end of this episode, we're going to play them a special treat, which is you in song, one of your favorite songs, something oh, yes. you, sing, you sing often on the show. Yes. A friend of mine from college, a musician named uh, John Murray, uh, uh, did a little work on it. Yes. Uh, put it through the, uh, the magical filter. And uh, I don't want to give away the surprise, but it, it will end this episode. So basically, he's doing a, a like, it's a cover version. You could say it's, that. It's me, but it's a cover version. Yeah, it's like, like K-Tel presents Gilbert Godfrey. Exactly. Presents things exactly. And, yeah. Or <laughs> it's like when they'll do, like, a, a jazzed-up version of Long and Winding Road. Yes. Or, uh, yeah, hooked on, on Gottfried, if yes. you will. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. It will, uh, it will close this episode, and uh, it'll be a special treat. Cut one from the forthcoming Gilbert Gottfried LP that we're yes. intending to get to one day. You want to start us okay. off? Uh, this is Maestro? a movie mm. that came out in, I think it came out in the 70s, and I think the director is this uh, uh, Joseph Flozy. Okay. Joseph and, Flozy, yeah. Made yeah. the go-between with Dirk Bogart. Oh, Yes. Do I have the right guy? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And this is a French film. I haven't seen it for years, but it was a French film with that French actor, Alain Delon. Alain Delon? Yes. Alain Delon. The guy who was in Airport 79, the Concorde? Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I know. Alain Delon. Yeah. This was a more respectable <laughs> one than that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm butchering his name. But. This, this, oh, and it has that, I think it has that French actress that was in everything. Genevieve Bougeot? Uh, no, no, no. The other Charlotte one. Charlotte Rampling? No. Uh, that French actress that was in everything. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh <laughs> what was, what was. Give me one movie. Oh, jeez. Uh, if I could think, uh, oh, she was in this movie called uh, Elevator to the Gallows. Wow. I've okay. heard of the movie. Can you physically describe her? Uh, attractive. <laughs> so she was that attractive French oh, actress who was in more than one and movie. Anouk and me? Yeah. <laughs> what was her name? She was in a lot of things. Uh, our crack uh, team is looking up Elevator to the Gallows. Jean Moreau. Jean Moreau. Well, of course. Yes. From, from, from uh, uh, Jules and Jim. Yes. So right. Jean Moreau and Alain Delon. Yes. And this is a movie called Mr. Klein. Oh, gosh. And the character's name in it, oddly enough, is Robert Klein. That's having funny. Having nothing to do with the comic. Uh, but... He he plays a guy named uh, Klein, who's not Jewish, but it takes place in occupied France. And he's doing very well off the Jews who are in a lot of trouble, who have to get rid of their belongings and they need the money desperately. And they're selling their art to him at like 
ridiculously, he's buying it at ridiculously low prices, and he's cheating them all out, and he's leading a great life. He's got a mistress. He's doing great. He's going out on the town. And then the French police are looking for uh, this Jewish guy named Robert Klein, and, and it starts leading to him each time. And and it, it's, you know, interrupting his life and disrupting okay. his I, life. I've, I've heard of this film. I, I, I don't think I ever knew what it was about. Yeah. And he, he, dis, he starts going out looking for this guy himself as he gets more and more entangled now. So he, it's a suspense film? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Like a weird, just like a weird kind of film. Uh-huh. It's, yeah. Not a dark comedy. No. Okay. No. But, okay. Yeah. And what else happens? Uh, then there's a big pie fight. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Larry Stort shows up uh, and yes. Peter Falk. Yes. Uh, Mr. Klein. Mr. Klein. With Jean Moreau. Yes. I, we said Jean Moreau, but yes. I think it's Jean Moreau. Jean Moreau. Jean Moreau. And, and, uh, and uh, Alain, Alain Delon. Delon. Yes. And, and, People were surprised when they uh, saw this, that this Alain Delon uh, was a much better actor than they thought. Because he was like a pretty boy right, in right, movies right, before right. that. I wonder if he's still around. Oh, wow. That yeah. would be good. Yeah. Maybe we could do a double show with him and Papillon Susan. And Matilda May. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who I'm getting a lot of tweets about yeah. since you brought up uh, Life Force. <laughs> So the, you would say the movie has a, has a Jewish themes? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I, I only bring that up as a segue because my movie has has Jewish themes. Ah. My movie is a comedy from 1972 that I suspect you've seen. Yes. And it was it was based. Uh, I'll give, this will give it away. It was based on a story on a short story uh, written by the father of one of our previous podcast guests. Can you put that together? Oh, okay, that's easy. Uh, uh, Lon Chaney no. <laughs> Jr. <laughs> no. wrote this. No, the podcast, <laughs> the podcast guest would be our buddy uh, Drew Friedman. Oh, okay. And his dad was, was the celebrated novelist and playwright and humorist Bruce J. Friedman. Yes. And he wrote a story called A Change of Plan that was adapted by Neil Simon and, and uh, directed by Elaine May into a comedy, a 1972 comedy called The Heartbreak Kid. Oh, okay. The original Heartbreak yes. Kid. Not the bad Farrelly Brothers remake. Oh, yes. With Ben Stiller. This, this was the one with Charles Grodin. Charles Grodin and Sybil Shepard yes. as the Shiksa goddess. Yeah. And, uh, I, oh, and, and um, uh, 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 the, the guy from Green Acres. Yes, Eddie Albert. Eddie Albert right. is it, in there as, right. as her father. Almost steals the movie. And I think Jack Klugman. I didn't see Jack Klugman. Yeah? You're thinking of uh, Goodbye Columbus? Oh, that's Goodbye Columbus. Yeah. 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 See, I'm thinking of wedding comedies. Right. Not that the film yeah. couldn't have been improved with Jack Klugman yes. showing up. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, but it does have uh, Eddie Albert. Yeah. yeah. Well, Eddie Albert is the father of Sybil Shepard, who is this, this young college student that, that Charles Grodin stumbles onto on the yeah. beach while he's on his honeymoon. And it's a black comedy. It's a, it, it's, a, it's a controversial comedy in its way because it's, a, it's about a, a New York nebbish uh, who he's on Jew? his honeymoon. Yes. <laughs> he's on his honeymoon. Lenny Cantro, Charles Grodin, plays a, sp a sporting goods salesman, and he marries Jeannie Berlin, who's, this, who's actually the, the real-life daughter of Elaine May, who directed yeah. the film. Oh, okay. And she's very awkward, and, and, and uh, basically he's falling out of love with her every second from the moment that they leave the altar. And, and I remember there's a scene in the movie where he has to very sincerely tell her father. Oh, yes. Uh, very funny. <laughs> that, and he has to explain to him, well, um, I, you know, like I did love your daughter, but I just saw someone else yes. on the honeymoon. And oh, no, he, really has to, he has to make his pitch to Eddie Albert, <laughs> yes. to, to Sybil Shepard's father, but he throws in the fact that he, he's on his honeymoon. Yes. 
And he's only and, been married four days. And Charles Grodin was always like the master of that deadpan. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. He's great. Well, he he lost out of the the Benjamin Braddock part, famously. Oh, yes. In The Graduate. Yeah, I heard uh, he was like... I think it may have been he was asking for more money. I don't for know what the I don't know what the real story is. Yeah, they did want him, and he winds up working for uh, uh, Nichols, Mike Nichols' partner, Elaine May, in a, in a film that is often compared in some ways to oh, The yeah. Graduate. Um, he's he's just so creepy in the film. I mean, <laughs> he's just uh, he's he's one of my favorite comic actors, and uh, it's a terrific movie. It, I I don't know that it's been available. I think it's been out of print for years. I haven't seen it in years. And TCM recently pulled it out. And Drew is is an, an old friend of yours and an old friend of yeah. mine. And uh, I remember seeing the film and, and, and loving it. Uh, look up uh, Bruce J. Friedman's other work. He did a lot of great stuff. Um, it's a very funny, uh, atypical Neil Simon script. Neil Simon oh, yeah. adapted Bruce J. Friedman in that it's not a jokey Neil Simon script. It's not like the Sunshine oh, Boys. Yeah. It's not shticky. He, he really um, honored uh, Bruce J.'s original story. In fact, he said he wrote it as if he was Bruce J. Friedman. But it's, it's one of those comedies that's cringeworthy, that oh, makes yes. you very uncomfortable yeah. to watch it, <laughs> which is my kind of comedy. Yeah. Groton is doing, like, the worst things possible. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, you can't help but kind of pull for him. Oh, yeah. You know. So it's a, it's a very smart, very dark film. Again, based on uh, Bruce J. Friedman's story, A Change of Plan. And there is no Papillon Susu reference in the whole film. (laughs) And no Jack Klugman, a double letdown. But very good. And if you can find it, worth watching. Okay. So these were the two films. Uh, Frank, you chose a comedy. I did. Starring Charles Grodin. Yes. And that's the heartbreak. Correct. Kid. Usually, you don't remember the film that I've. Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, since only forty seconds elapsed, well, there was a good possibility. I usually don't listen <laughs> when you start talking. I can see that. <laughs> and I chose a, a, a strange drama, a French movie mm-hmm. of all things. I think this is the first foreign film you've chosen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a French film of all things, a mysterious uh, uh, drama. Uh, called uh, Mr. Klein. Which has no, nothing to do with Robert nothing Klein. Nothing to do with Robert character does Klein. not sing, I can't stop my leg no. at any point. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. I love you.